Another quick note is that this VOD is split into four parts to be a little more concise. You don't have to consume it all at once. However, I highly recommend watching all four parts as that's how you get the most help, the most tips from me. So anyways, let's get started. So right here, okay, th this is like a good example of a time to pull them back would be a good use of halt. Now your last use of halt was still good. I'm not saying it wasn't, but just if you're wondering where that where that good time is to use halt to just straight up pull people back, this is that time. So halt's range is seven and a half meters. Reinhardt Shield has taken a lot of damage covering even just this itty bitty distance. So I, on, on one hand, I think the red team's really misplaying here, but to pull him back and then you can break the shield and really pressure him so you could pull him back and replace your shield at your feet so you have let's let's say you did max range you have seven meters plus another like two meters so then they have another 10 ish meters to cover with this super weak shield but yeah i mean look at that just the pressure on the shield that he's trying to charge into like he was forced to charge because his shield was gone right which is why if you have that distance from the enemy Reinhardt as Arissa, you can really force them into making bad decisions because there is no good decision for them to make. Yeah, so like right here would be a good example of when I, you, you, you can track Soldier into your halt, right? Um, I would, again, just a, a, a tiny little thing is try and get the maximum pull distance. You're getting about half of the halt range here. Um, this is about three, four meters. You could definitely like halt over here and pull him way farther. He's he'll probably die, so I'm not too worried about it. Yeah, right. The Sonic arrow save. You you had fortify. You were fine. That dragon though. What? On the top left. What? So look at your shield, right? You saw him. You saw him in the top left and then placed your shield. So I think you could, I, I'm going to argue that this shield is poorly placed because Hanzo's in this window, right? When you place the shield here, he then has all all these angles to shoot and scatter your team from this window, especially because your halt's on cooldown. You should have put the shield here to kind of take away all this space um, fr from Hanzo. Wow. Yeah, it was just it was maybe just a la like a, 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 a lapse in awareness right That's when you saw the Hanzo. Life. You're still pressuring him with your weapon, which is good. Yeah, I just got to keep paying attention to him now. If like if he goes into that window, you pull him down, right? Like that soldier example in the previous round, you want to make sure you know they're there before you pull them versus you were trying to halt him out of the room. Like that was a, your attempt in that last round was good, but this was a perfect example of don't halt until you know you'll pull them. Luckily, this is gold, so I was saved. Yeah, pretty much. A good Hanzo would shoot you for that mistake. Yeah, a good Hanzo would have scattered you and killed you, Erisa, in one shot. Scatter arrow is stupid. Yeah, I agree. What is this Reinhardt doing? I, this dude... <sighs> feels bad, man. He's going in A by himself. B, he's discorded. C, he's going literally on the wrong side. You know we're talking about how the enemy team can come this side and, like reduce a lot of the usefulness of the shield he's literally going in the angle that gives you all this cha all this chance to shoot him don't don't be this reinhardt guys i know it's gold but still don't be this reinhardt his shield is so healthy too and he just decides to charge oh, Oof. Oh, man, so Ooh, that was a great halt look at this yeah you're you're, you're doing it again but I think, yeah, you see how you just like totally missed and then missed all the damage? Yeah, so definitely just look at the halt in the future. Your diva should just honestly go up there. I don't know what she's waiting for. Someone is going to die from Hanzo and it's going to be your diva's fault. Oh, look at that. How much damage is that? 400. Oof. It did a lot of damage to you. So yeah, this is the shield that you needed before, right? Look at this, right? Now the window is totally, you totally take away the window with this shield. Mario's uh, on point. Uh, I missed a fortify. I Definitely a good fortify here. Your shield breaks, you're 100 HP, so this is an amazing use of fortify. 
Mario's... I could see how you could see how you were saying this might be a little bit of a stomp. It is a little bit because the red team on attack has like absolutely zero coordination. But we're still. I hope you know we're still learning things from this review. You know, you're 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 like I said. I've said many times this review. Your yeah. fundamentals are very good. You have a couple panicky moments here, which happens to everyone. It doesn't matter what rank you are. Um, the goal is always to just reduce those panic moments and get as much value out of out of our characters as we can. Yeah, so the shield now that you've bonified the shield placement, Hansel's getting like a lot less value. I personally play where you are about standing now as Arissa. Yeah, right here or maybe one corner back is kind of where I would like to hold. I, well, honestly, where I like to hold is the high ground, but when I can't do that, it's you know one of these two corners. The enemy team, like, I haven't been keeping track of it, but if you, if we, like, looked at the attack, the, sorry, your defense from the beginning and just watched the kill feed, I mean, you could just, you could say, okay, the enemy team is 5v6, you could just constantly see how much they are staggered. Incoming. Nice. Nice shot. Nice. Mm. Eh. Did you need that bongo? I know you guys are like overwhelmingly winning here. Uh, I mean, I'll give it to you that you did use it in a 6v6 situation, so that's good. The placement is also very good too, um, right? Because the enemy team, they, they have to come around this truck. Not even because your shield's covering it from this side. They have to come around the truck on the other side to kill your bongo so i really like the placement um it's my, maybe it's a little too far forward there's probably a better defensive placement like over by the forklift or something i i, I i'm pretty sure that'd probably be a better place to put it because it's a little farther back but for, given where you put it it's not bad um but you, at least you use it in a 6v6 so Your Hanzo still died to Tacvisor. He must not have run to your Zenyatta. Now he's on the right. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Is he? Oh my goodness. The attack is so bad. Again, we're fortifying versus coalescence when we don't need to, but that's something that you'll learn in your future games. Obviously, you can't hear me in this game. <laughs> okay, they're why, they're using support ultimates, but in front of their whole team, and they're not even like contesting the point. Like, what is this red attack? Yeah, I mean, there's I don't really think there's much there's really much else to say. Um, the main thing is you've got pretty you've got pretty solid shield placement you have pretty solid halt usage and you have pretty solid fortify usage your target selection is pretty good your reloading is pretty good um there's just those little mistakes in each of those areas that we pointed out in this review that you can definitely improve upon um I would say of all the things to improve upon, probably again, halt usage would be at the top of my list for you. Your shield placements, you were able to adjust rather quickly, at least in game when you had bad shields, except for maybe on your attack, you kept placing that shield in the middle of the point. Um, but halt usage, again, it was good, but there's always, you could, like halt is again, I've said this many times, is Orissa's best ability. It's what makes Orissa so strong and then her shield, and then for fortify. Like, in that order is Arissa's strength. So really getting value out of Halt is how you have, like, a amazing Arissa play. So just work... Um uh, definitely aiming at your halts for with your shots, pre-firing your halts. I'd say that is the biggest halt thing to improve on. And then um, waiting to for those... Um, like, you took a lot of halts that were, like, 50-50. Like, this might pull him, this might not pull the, the target. You kind of want to reduce those down to maybe do halts that are, like, 80-20, right? There's an 80% chance that this halt creates an opportunity and maybe a 20% chance that they were able to get away from the halt, right? So, definitely when people are, like, around corners or high or around um, high ground, if, you, if you're not sure how far around the corner they got or how far, like, in, like, into the high ground they got, maybe hold the halt until you see them reappear so you can really increase the value 
out of that hole, right? If someone hides, like a lot of times when I see someone turn a corner, you know, based on who, like in your head, who the hero is, like let's say it's um, Hanzo or something, you know his ground speed is not that long. So you can, as Orisa, I can gauge, okay, based on the travel speed of Halt, my position, you know, to the corner and his horizontal movement speed, I'll be able to pull him back. But if it's like a soldier or something, you know, like, okay, he's probably sprinting, so he'll probably get away. And then you turn the corner visually, confirm he's either A, gone away, or he's still there, and then reassesses, is this or is this not a good halt? Um, panic fortifies, yeah, I definitely want to reduce those down a bit. Um, things to not fortify against are like Winston's can or Tesla cannon if he's going to kill you, coalescence, like we said, um... Um, I don't know. Those those are the tickle monsters, really. I mean, Diva's a tickle monster until she gets in your face, and then she's an absolute absolute cannon. Um, maybe like Lucio damage. I mean, I'm not gonna go through every single bit of damage you wouldn't fortify, but you you basically I've you, we saw this match. You basically know when to use it. So overall, really solid fundamentals. Just kind of clean up those aspects. And again, number one is sh pre firing your halts. Um, but you should be seeing success with the risks in your games. Dude, keep it up, Dollar Hunt. Thank you so much for being a Twitch subscriber, guys. If you liked this video and you think it was helpful, definitely give it a like and share it around with your friends who suck at, at Arissa. Hopefully they'll be better. If you want to check out more of these, you can subscribe to me on YouTube. You can follow me on Twitter. You can check out my Discord and watch these reviews live on Twitch. All those links will be in the description, guys. Happy Valentine's Day again. Thank you for watching and have a good one. Thanks for sticking around till the end of the video. Check out these two other videos on the left hand side and be sure to subscribe by clicking that button on the right. If you like all of this stuff, you can follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Discord, and of course YouTube. All the links will be in the description below. Again, thanks so much for watching guys and have a good one.